Hi people, welcome back to my channel and in today's video I wanted to share with you uh, what I read in January and also I thought it would be fun to do a filling out my reading journal and uh, you know doing the setup for February as well in this video because I, I did not read many books in January. I actually only read three books in January so this is my reading journal. Maybe you have seen it before. Little sneak preview there really excited to show you that i already did it uh just now so i'm filming this after i actually did the journal stuff so anyway let's get into the books that i read in january and what i thought of them the first book i read in january was iron flame by rebecca yarrows and this is the second book in the empyrean series which is Fourth Wing was the first book and Iron Flame is the second book which came out in November I believe. So in Fourth Wing we follow Violet who is enlisting in a military school. All her life she has been training to become a scribe in this school but at the last moment her mother kind of forces her into the rider quadrant of the school which means that she has to learn how to ride a dragon and it is very dangerous because about half of everyone that goes into this rider, qu rider quadrant dies before they graduate M maybe even more maybe it's like 75 percent. so a lot of people die um, and she is tiny most people that go to this school are have been training for it all their lives and she's only been training for it six months and she's tiny and her mother is very high up in the ranks which makes her a target for other students as well and there's war in the in 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 the lands it's it's kind of like a border war so very dangerous and it's a school based story which i always very much like and uh so i really enjoyed fourth wing iron flame is the second book in the series and we follow violet again in her second year in this writer school and i did not enjoy this book as much as I did Fourth Wing. I gave it two and a half stars, so that's one of the lowest ratings I have probably ever given a book. I just really did not enjoy this one very much. Now, why is that? Well, first of all, I felt that they probably should have taken a little bit more time with this book. It should have been edited more. It should have been... The writer, just, Rebecca, just should have taken a little bit more time with it, I think. I think it would have been better if there was more thought put into this one. And something else I really did not like in this book was actually the main character, Violet. She was very... She gave, she gave off main character vibes. Everything that went wrong, she, she projected upon herself. So she was just whiny all the time and... It, it just was very annoying to me. Something else was it, it just felt very much like a 2010 type of fantasy story where everything just kind of happens without without any clues beforehand, nothing leading up to it. It just things just randomly happened and it was very plot convenience type of stuff. And also something that was very 2010 to me is that you know when there were battles you already knew no one's going to die only people that so the only people that died were people that you just met once for like one sentence or just right before they died that's when you met them and she the main character was distraught by her death but at the same time it's like we didn't even know this person come on so you know it 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 made the action not as thrilling you weren't on the edge of your seat because you knew everything was going to be all right anyway and she was just fighting with her boyfriend the entire book and this is a thick book so uh, it wasn't i didn't like it very much but as it is a series and i really liked uh fourth wing i thought to just finish it and see it it wasn't that bad necessarily just it wasn't good either so two and a half stars for me let's move on i read a classic this month which was love and friendship now this is a thick book it is all of her youthful writings and i only read love and friendship from this actually i listened to it on audiobook so i really liked this one um i gave it three and a half stars 
you can definitely tell that this has been written by a young girl and it wasn't written by Jane Austen, the, the proclaimed author. It was written by Jane Austen when she was young and you can tell. Um, it is very dramatic, but it was really funny as well. It's a very short story. It was like 30 pages and it was, it is letters from a woman telling a young girl about her life, what happened to her in love and in friendship, how she has been betrayed in both. And it was just very silly, which I thought it was really funny, but I can imagine that some people would find the characters annoying, but I didn't. I just really enjoyed listening to the, the audiobook. Like the main characters were fainting all the time and it was just a kind of slapstick like it was exaggerated but it was funny to me and i feel like it's kind of a cautionary tale for girls in that time period as well which doesn't apply to me because it's two, 200 years later so the way we live is very different from the way they lived but i enjoyed it i would recommend it it's only 30 pages so you can just read it quickly in an afternoon if you are so inclined the audiobook was only one hour long the last book that i read this month was love theoretically by ellie hazelwood and i really loved this one i gave this four and a half stars and the thing about this one it gave me a lot of feelings because the main character in this book is very much like me in the sense that she portrays to people what she feels like those people want to see and in that way lost herself in the process so this is something that happens to you uh, this is something that happens when you're very young you start developing this coping mechanism uh, in interacting with people and then throughout the years you're going to lose yourself and I felt that on a different level because I feel like that is very much the way I am as well so this book had me crying for uh, many many times so um yeah but that's also that's also a sign for me that i really enjoy a book if i don't cry if i cry from a book that means that i am invested right so that this made me feel that way and this also has me laughing so it's definitely really really good why is it not a five star um i don't know Maybe it should be, but I feel like, so the thing about five star books for me is it gives me all the feelings and it transcends reading. I, f I feel a lot of feelings while reading. Um, and secondly, I would also, once I finish it, want to go back immediately and read it again. And that was not the case for this one but very close it's very close to a five star for me maybe it's even a 4.75 instead of a 4.5 uh, but anyway this is about a scientist in stem and she has graduated like a year ago and she is doing teaching jobs and because of that she doesn't have time for her research that she wants to do and she meets a professor at mit and they get romantically involved with each other um, but the thing is, she has been dating his brother for a year. He doesn't know that it's fake dating, but she's fake dating his brother has been for a year. So there's a lot of dynamics there. It's hard to... He doesn't want to steal his brother's girlfriend, which is great for him, but she's not his girlfriend. So anyway it's just very, a really funny read it's just a romance so you know how it goes they meet they interact and in the end they end up together that's how romances go right so uh, but this is set in stem which i really enjoy because it is different from most other romances and also i myself i'm not in stem but i am in research <laughs> I'm doing my master's degree right now in sociology so it's not is it stem i don't know i don't know what stem means i don't think it's stem but it is academia so i really enjoy reading about that as well so those are the books that i have read in january so let's fill out my reading journal 
right now um, I'm going to fill out the things that I want to fill out I'm, I'm doing I'm going to do the statistics for January and then I'm going to also set up my reading journal for February so let's go do that right now hey guys let's start with filling out my journal for the month of January and then set up the journal for February So I didn't read that many books. <laughs> I read Iron Flame, The Love Theory, no, Love Theoretically and Love and Friendship. I still have to color those in. So let's do that right now. I added Italy to my map because Ellie Hazelwood is from Italy, which I didn't know, but now I do. I read three books, so again, I didn't color this in yet. I'm going to do that now. I'm going to use purple. And the genres. I read a fantasy book, a romance, and a classic, and I accidentally colored in a science fiction block as well so i gotta read a science fiction book soon i am on my 12 classics this year goal because i read love and friendship this month i have started annotating so i want to keep doing that but that goal has been reached it is of course very easy to say start doing something as a goal because you know you only have to do it once i want to keep up annotating as well so i'm not going to check it up yet i am trying to read a book in a day haven't gotten so lucky yet i tried twice but didn't happen for me and i have been trying to read every day um there were three days in january that i did not read so going great i written down yellow face i really want to read that one so 12 classics of the year i should paste in uh, love and friendship here but i didn't print it out so i cannot uh, best books of the year five star read so this month the best book was love theoretically out of the three books that i read so i'm going to paste that one in here once i print it out i haven't written down any quotes i am currently reading the map of the oleander of the other lands I don't know why I thought that it was oleanders, that's weird, but anyway, let's uh, see my physical TBR. I have read Love and Friendship, I have read Icebreaker, Iron Flame, and Love Theoretically. So we've got four out of our 31 goals, so we still have to read 27 January. So I decided to write down every day which book I am reading. So as you can see, I didn't read on the 12th or the 28th or the 18th. Let's go to the statistics. Let's fill this one out. So I have read three books this month. Zero five-star reads. I DNF'd zero books. Three and a half is the average average rating that's great that's a good rating to have averaged out on so like i said we did three different different genres Okay, so best of the month was love theoretically. We have an American, an Italian, and an English writer, medium. I listened to Love and Friendship. I read Love Theoretically and Iron Flame. I kind of flip-flopped from audiobook to the 
physical book. So I'd say it's like 50-50. I don't know if Iron Flame is young adult or adult. I'm going to look that up. So I just really quickly did the calculations on my phone. And all of these numbers add up to 1590 pages read. So if you say that an average book is about 300 pages, it would have been like reading five books. But of course, I only read three and three halves <laughs> of a book. So anyway, let's move on to setting up the journal for February. So I'm just having a look at what I did for January. Cover page, one of those, and then the TBR and statistics. I'm going to do that again. I'm going to leave these pages for the reviews that I still have to do for the other two books. I'm going to start here with a cover page for February. And I'm just going to freehand this. Okay, let's see what we have to adorn this page. Oh, I really like this one. I will put that one. This is also very nice. And that's it already for February. So a quick look back, here we go. Apparently I skipped two pages. <laughs> I don't know how that happened, but it happened. And yeah, after that I will use these pages to write any reviews that I have and I guess I can probably think of something to do with these pages. I might even just paste them together, honestly. Yeah, let's just do that right away. There we go. So that was it. That was my reading journal finished. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I really enjoyed making this. I really like this page as well. It's kind of light academia, spring vibes. I really enjoy it. So anyway, that was it for me for today. Thank you so much for watching. Please comment down below uh, what you thought of any of these books, if you have read them, or if you are planning on reading all, any of these after seeing this. Like this video if you liked it. Please subscribe if you want to see more from me. And that's it for me for today. Bye!